there, I'm Erin with Five Parks Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. Today's class is designed for backpackers, serious hikers, trekkers, um, anyone who's training for or getting ready for um, a season of a lot of hiking, going up and down hills, or and or long distances, carrying heavy, heavy loads, this class is perfect for you. Today I'm filming on the beautiful Colorado National Monument in Grand Junction, Colorado. So in the spirit of my favorite place on the planet to backpack, I'm filming in the canyons. Um, up on the mesa here with the steep drop-offs right to the side of me and behind me, but I'm really happy to be here in this beautiful, beautiful environment. So if you like this class, don't forget to hit the thumbs up icon. And if you haven't yet already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'd like to thank all of my Patreon supporters, my YouTube supporters and members. Thank you all for your support. We are very grateful for everything that um, you provide to help us keep this business going and constantly producing new and different videos for you. So let's get started today on our shins. So right away we're gonna get into our feet and our ankles, which are gonna be really, really important. Um, if you've ever worn pretty thick or stiff hiking boots, this is great to warm up your ankles and then we'll do it again at the end to cool down. So again, come onto your shins, feet flat to the floor, rest your hands on your thighs, close down your eyes. We're gonna begin with some deep breathing. So together, let's take a deep inhale through our nose, hold it at the top and let it go through your mouth. Make this next breath longer, slower, and smoother. Breathe in through your nose. Hold it at the top and let it go through your mouth. Let's do one more just like that. Breathe in through your nose. Pause at the top and exhale through your mouth. Let's begin to breathe in and out through our nose, activating our ujjayi pranayama. Making each breath long and slow and steady and smooth. Now from here, we're gonna come into toes pose. So you're just gonna lean forward, place your hands on the floor, tuck all 10 toes under, sit all of your weight back on your heels, try to get your spine nice and upright. You can have your eyes open or closed, gently gazing out in front of you and really focus in on the breath, just kind of embracing any discomfort that you might feel in your toes. This is a really, really big stretch for the toes and the feet and it's gonna help circulate a lot of blood down um, in our entire foot, both feet. All right, we're gonna take one more breath here. And then once again, walk, rock your weight forward. Come onto your hands, maybe give your feet a little bit of a shake. And then we're gonna stretch out the shins and the fronts of the feet and the ankles. So sit back again. And this time, take your hands behind you and lift your knees up off of the floor. You can have weight in your hands and your arms to support you here. You don't wanna overstrain your ankles or the fronts of your shins. Take another deep breath here. And then rock your weight forward, come into a tabletop position. All right, extend your left leg long out behind you, tuck your toes under, set your foot on the floor, and then rock forward and backward, stretching out the bottom of your left foot, your wrists as well. Come back to neutral, lift your left leg up, bring your left foot to the right, tuck your toes under, Bump your hips to the left, look toward your left toes, stretching through your left side. Come back to center. Extend your left leg back out behind you one time. Exhale, knee to nose, round your spine. Inhale, extend, and we're gonna take modified side plank. Kick your right foot to the right. 
Roll onto your right side, lift your left arm up. You can hold here in your modified side plank or you can take the quad stretch. Kick your left foot back. Come back to modified side plank and back to tabletop position. Let's do three rounds of cat cow. Breathe in and out. Drop your belly, breathe in, round your spine, breathe out. One more round. Come back to tabletop position. Extend your right leg straight out behind you, flex your toes, release your foot to the floor, toes tucked under, rock forward and backward. back to neutral lift your right leg up cross your right foot over your left tuck your toes under look toward your right toes getting a stretch through your right side come back to center lift your right leg up one time knee to nose round your spine kick that right foot back modified side plank left toes to the left roll onto your left hand reach your right arm up hold here or bend your right leg, take your foot from the outside, kick it back, open through your right side. Modified side plank, and back to tabletop. And let's all tuck the toes under, lift your knees up off the floor for bear pose. Just starting to notice our core. I'm gonna do a lot of work for the core, especially if you're carrying a backpack, you need really, really strong core muscles. If you're not carrying a backpack though, for stability, nice, strong core. Now walk your feet back so you're in high plank pose and just hold here for three and two and one. Shift forward, lower down. Keep your hands where they are. Peel your chest up off the floor as you breathe in for low lift cobra pose. Exhale, release. Bring your knees wide, bring your toes to touch. Sit your hips back toward your heels for extended child's pose. Take three breaths in extended child's pose. Two more breaths. Elongating the spine, stretching through the hips, the low back. One more breath here. And just grounding and centering yourself. Now we're going to come into bound up dog. So shift forward, bring your shoulders over your wrists, bring your toes toward your hips. Keep them touching as you lift your chin and then press back, child's pose. Let's do that two more times. Shift forward, lift your feet, look up, shift back, child's pose. Shift forward and back. All right, from here, lift your left leg, extend it out behind you. Exhale one time, knee to nose. Extend, lift back. Come back to tabletop top position and then tuck your toes under for downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Lift both of your heels high. Come high, high, high up onto your toes and then release your heels to the right, stretching through your left side. You can bend both legs, bring your chest a little bit closer to your thighs. And press back, feel the extension all the way down the outside of your left leg. Lift your heels high, release both heels to the left. You'd like to, you can bend both legs, bring your torso a little bit closer to your thighs. Extend your legs long, lift your heels up, and then release them back to center. On your next breath in, look forward, shift forward, high plank pose. This time, lower down halfway, chaturanga. Come up onto the tops of your feet, Press up, upward facing dog, pause. Want to stretch through the neck. So bring your chin to your right shoulder, look to the right. Come back through center, bring your chin to your left shoulder, look to the left. 
Come back to center. Gently bring your chin forward and down toward your chest. Back to neutral, upward facing dog, and then back to downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Look toward your hands. Walk your feet toward your wrists. Ragdoll, bend your legs a lot. Drape your torso over your thighs. Take opposite hand to opposite wrist or opposite elbow. You can sway side to side, bending and straightening one leg at a time. Continue with your deep breathing. And then make your way back to center. You can have your feet at hip distance apart, or you can bring your feet to touch. We're coming into chair pose. So sit your hips low, lift your arms up and forward. Release your shoulders away from your ears. Breathe in here. As you exhale, airplane your arms. Keep your heels grounded. Reach back, engage through, through your triceps. Shine your heart, lift your chin. Breathe in, bring your arms back. Exhale, drinking bird. Reach your hands back as you lift your heels up. Sink a little bit lower. A little bit lower. Okay, release your heels down to the floor. Inhale, come up to tall mountain pose. Exhale, cactus your arms, lift your chin. Inhale, tall mountain pose. Stand here, we're gonna come into a vertical twist. So bring your left arm forward and your right arm back. Try to keep your hips square to the front of your mat, using your core to make this twist. Breathe in, come back to center. Breathe out, bring your right arm forward, your left arm back. Maybe look back towards your left thumb. Come back to center, breathe in. Exhale, standing forward, fold, breathe out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, standing forward fold, plant your hands, step back, high plank pose. Make your way back to downward facing dog, chaturanga. Here, if you'd like, upward facing dog on your breath in, downward facing dog on your breath out. Lift your right leg high, bring your right knee, tap your right elbow, one time. Three-legged dog, breathe in, exhale, low lunge, breathe out. Begin to bend and straighten through your right leg. Option to lift your toes up off of the floor, stretching through your Achilles tendon, your calf, and the back of your thigh. Make your way back to low lunge. Keep your left hand planted. Inhale, extend your right arm up. Exhale, release your right hand down. On your next breath in, step your left foot to meet your right. Come into a halfway lift. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, chair. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Exhale, airplane chair. Inhale, chair. Exhale, airplane, or standing drinking bird with airplane arms. Inhale, chair. Exhale, standing forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Standing forward fold, breathe out. Step back. High plank pose, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's stretch the left leg now. Inhale, lift your left leg high. One time, tap your elbow to your left, your knee to your left elbow. Extend back, three-legged dog, step forward, low lunge. Same thing on this side. You can begin to bend and straighten your left leg. Option to lift your toes up off the floor. Lots of stretching in this movement, moving from the lunge to a straight leg. And let's make our way back to lunge for the twist. Keep your right hand on the floor, lift your left arm up, look up, plant your left hand down, step back, high plank, exhale, lower all the way down onto your belly. Okay, let's stretch out the fronts of the shoulders here. So extend your right arm to the right, palm face down. Roll your left leg up and over. Stamp your foot to the floor. Press into your left fingertips. Take one full breath here. Come back onto your stomach. Switch sides, extend your left arm to the left. Roll to the left. Bring your right foot up and over. Plant it on the floor, breathe in. And out. Come back to center. 
Bring both hands underneath both shoulders. Press up high plank with or without your knees and back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out. Look toward your hands, step walk or float to the front of your mat. Standing forward, fold, breathe out. And again, inhale chair, exhale airplane chair. Inhale chair, exhale drinking bird, airplane arms. Inhale tall mountain, exhale cactus. Inhale tall mountain, exhale standing forward fold. Come all the way down. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, chaturanga. You can step, walk, or float. Lower down. We'll all meet back in downward facing dog. Make your way there. Take a big breath in and out. Lift your right leg up. Begin to stack your right hip on top of your left. Bring your leg up and over and release your foot down toward the floor. Now take some rolls of your ankle in one direction and in the other direction. Straighten out your leg, level off your hips. Exhale, knee to nose, step your right foot forward. All right, release your back knee to the floor for crescent moon pone pose. Sweep your arms up overhead, connect the palms of your hands, cross over your thumbs, bring your thumbs to the back of your head, press your head into your thumbs as you arch back look up getting a nice arch in your spine and stretch in your left hip flexor come back to crescent moon release back to low lunge step your back foot one foot step forward and then come into warrior one so plant your back heel down lift your arms up Sink down into your front knee. Keep your shoulders and your hips facing the front of your mat. Take another breath in here. Bring your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Press your fists down. Lift your chin up. Humble warrior. Bring your right shoulder to the inside of your right knee. Building strength and stability through two grounded feet. Flexibility in the chest and the shoulders. Take one more breath here. As you exhale, sweep your arms down. Inhale, bring them back up so you're in warrior one. And then exhale, slide your left foot back and come into warrior two, opening up now to the side. Take one full breath here. Now as you inhale, you're gonna sweep your left arm down and around, lift your left heel, come into crescent lunge pose. Now we're gonna build some heat and strength in the left quadricep muscle. So from here, breathe in, and then as you exhale, bring your left knee down to the floor, cactus your arms, press up, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale, crescent lunge with airplane arms. On your next breath in, stand up onto your right foot. Lift your left leg up. Come into standing staff pose. And then bring your left foot back behind you. Take your foot from the inside. We're going to do a quad stretch here. So you can just hold here. You can also take your foot from the outside if you'd like, because we're not coming into dancer pose here. So you just want to get maximum stretch in your left thigh while building strength in your right. Great stretch right before you hit the trail, right here in both legs. We'll do the other side in a minute. All right, release your left foot down. Bring your left arm up. Tall mountain, look up. Exhale, standing forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward, facing dog. Downward, facing dog. Lift your left leg up, open your hip, bend your leg. Take some circles of your ankle in one direction. And let's take them in the other direction. Square off your hips, straighten out your leg. Knee to nose, set your left foot between your hands, release your back knee down, crescent moon pose. Lift your arms up overhead, 
connect the palms of your hands, cross the opposite cross of your thumbs. Bring your thumbs to the back of your head. Press your head into your thumbs. Lean back, arching through the spine, stretching through the right hip flexor, building strength in the left thigh. Extend your arms up, low lunge. Tuck your toe under, toes under, lift your knee. Step at one foot step forward for warrior one. Plant your heel down on the floor, rise up. Shoulders and hips are squared to the front of your mat. Shoulders away from your ears. Lunge into your front leg so you should feel a nice stretch through the outer side of your right ankle. Breathe in here. Exhale, hands behind your back. Humble warrior, press your fists down. Look up and then lean forward, bringing your left shoulder to the inside of your left knee. Focus back toward the back of your mat. As you breathe in, you're gonna sweep your arms down, touch your mat, rise up warrior one, and then step your right foot back, heel toe it back, warrior two, open up to the side now. Breathe in and out. All right, from warrior two, let's make our way back to crescent lunge. So swing your right arm down and around, lift your right heel up. All right, building strength and flexibility in our lunge, let's take three dips. So dip it down, cactus your arms, press it up. And two, and three. Hinge forward, reach back, and step onto your left foot. Standing staff pose, lift your arms straight up overhead, leg comes to 90, and then let's take the quad stretch. So you can take your right foot from the inside or the outside. We're not kicking back, so the outside is just fine. Bring your knees together, keep your left arm lifted, keep your focus steady. And then even though you're not lifting your leg, kick it into your hand so you feel your quad activate and your hips activate. Again, great stretch right before you start your hike. Okay, and let's step the right foot to meet the left. Inhale, tall mountain, look up. Exhale, standing forward fold. Halfway lift. And then make your way back to downward facing dog. All right, let's lift that right leg again. This time, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand for a wide-legged low lunge. We're just gonna take a couple stretches here. Release your left knee down to, to the floor. Bend your left leg. Reach around. Take hold of your left foot with your right hand. Draw your heel in. And release your left foot down to the floor. Come onto the outer edge of your left foot, dip your left hip down, reach your right arm back, and then rainbow your arm up and over, and release down. Up and over, and down. Up and over, spin it all the way to Skandasana on your right leg, so you're facing the opposite side of your mat. Another great stretch for the bottom of the foot, the ankle, the knee. Option to lift your hands, bring them up to heart center. You can balance here. And then we're gonna make our way to a wide-legged straddle splits. So bring your heels behind your toes. Begin to straighten your legs. Release the top of your head down toward your mat. Feel the stretch in the backs of both legs, your inner thighs, and of course, you are getting all the benefits of an inversion with your head below your heart. And the weight of your head is lengthening your spine. Take one more breath here. Come up to a halfway lift. Bring your heels in, toes out. Now bring your hands to your heart to come into prayer squat. Sink low and then just sway side to side. Loosening up the hips here. Now we're gonna to continue to build strength in the calves. So lift your right heel up off the floor. You can hold steady or you can pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Release your right heel down, lift your left heel up. 
hold steady or pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Release your left heel down, lift both heels up. You can hold here or pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Release both heels down, rise up to star pose. Exhale, warrior two, face the front of your mat. Inhale, reverse triangle, stretch up and back. Exhale, triangle pose. Reach your right arm forward and down towards your mat. Reach your left arm up, maybe look up. Keep your body nice and extended long and lifted and open to the side. One more inhale here. Both hands to the mat, low lunge. Make your way to downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Let's start with wide-legged low lunge on the other side. Lift your left leg up. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Release your back knee down onto the floor. And then for the quad stretch, bend your right leg. Reach your left hand around. Take hold of your foot. Draw your foot in. Release your right foot down, tuck your toes under. For lounging lizard, take your left toes out to the left, roll onto the outer edge of your right foot, reach your left arm back. Let's rainbow that arm up and over three times as you lift your hips and extend, release. Extend, release, and one more time. Come all the way up and around. Skandasana on your left side, looking to the opposite side of your mat. Stretch out the bottom of your left foot, your calf, your ankle. If you'd like to play around with your balance, you can lift one or both hands up off of your mat. Bring them to heart center. Exhale here. Take your hands back to the mat if they're not there already and make your way to wide-legged straddle splits. Heels behind your toes, release your head down toward your mat. On your next breath in, come up to a halfway lift. Pause here, firm up through your thighs, bring your focus to your core, engage your core, lift your arms up, palms face down, arms in a capital T position. Breathe in here. As you exhale, bring your right hand to the ground, your left arm up, look up. Come back to center, bring your left hand to the floor, ground, reach your right arm up, look up. Come back to center, bring your hands to your heart, bring your heels in, toes out, sink down, prayer squat. Reach your hands down, tap your mat, inhale, stay low in your squat, but bring your arms up and over, connect the palms of your hands, and then bring your hands to your heart center, Tap the earth, sink down, inhale, connect your palms, exhale, sink, tap, sweep, up, 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 up to straight legs, exhale, warrior two, face the front of your mat. Inhale, reverse triangle in preparation for triangle pose. Keep your body facing the side, reach your left hand forward and down toward your mat. Reach your right arm up. Keep your two arms in one, one line, your core nice and active, keeping you lifted. Your spine is long, body open to the side. Inhale here, exhale, low lunge. Peel your back heel up off the floor, plant your hands. Step back, high plank pose, lower chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. All right, let's flow breath to movement. Lift your right leg high, step forward, low lunge. Warrior one, plant your foot down or your heel down, rise up, hands behind your back. Expand your chest as you breathe in, humble warrior as you breathe out. Breathe in, warrior one. Breathe out, warrior two. Breathe in, star. Breathe out, squat. Breathe in here. Exhale, tap the earth. Rise up, star. Warrior two, face the front of your mat. Reverse warrior. 
Exhale, low lunge. Lounging lizard. Right toes to the right. Roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. Skandasana, right leg. Breathe in. Prayer squat. Come up and sink down. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse triangle. Triangle pose. Breathe in. Low lunge. High plank, lower down. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take one full breath and then we'll do the other side. Empty out all of your air, preparing for matching your breath to your movements. Lift your left leg high, step forward, low lunge. Rise up, warrior one, back heel plants. Release your hands behind your back. Puff your chest, release your hands down toward the mat. Humble warrior, fold forward to the inside of your left knee. Warrior one, rise up. Level your hips and your shoulders toward the front. Warrior two, breathe out. Reverse warrior. And low lunge. Lounging lizard, left toes to the left. Roll onto the outer edge of your right foot. Reach your left arm back. Skandasana. Balance here on your left side. Prayer squat. Come to center. Rise up. Breathe in here. Exhale, tap your fingers to the floor. Rise up, star. Exhale, warrior two, face the front of your mat. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle pose. Breathe in here. Breathe out, low lunge. Step back, high plank. Lower chaturanga. Press up, upward facing dog. Press back, downward facing dog. On your next breath in, lift your right leg high. Half pigeon, bring your right knee toward your right wrist and your right toes toward your left wrist. Press up as you breathe in. Exhale, release. Stretching out the right glute and hip, extending the left leg long to get the stretch in the left hip flexor. Take one more breath here. Come back up onto your hands. You're gonna bring your left leg around to come into cradle the baby pose. So you can take your hands and wrap them around your left shin or you can rest your calf in the crook of your elbows. See if you can keep a nice tall spine as you stretch through the hips. Find your core to keep you stable and lifted. All right, from Cradle the Baby, come into Navasana, Boat Pose. Building core awareness and stability. Hold here for another breath in. As you exhale, lower down, low boat. <laughs> I'm lying on a hill, I'm gonna roll back. Okay, come back to high boat. And then lower down to low boat, woo. And then high boat. And then low boat. High boat and then cross over your ankles. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up, come into half pigeon. Breathe in, lengthen through the front of your body. Breathe out, release. Three breaths here in half pigeon pose. Focus on the stretch in your left glute, your hips, the front of your right hip, the back and side of your left hip. Press all the way back up and we're going to bring that right leg around for cradle the baby on the other side. You can wrap your arms around your right shin or again place your calf in the crook of your elbows. Feel free to move around here.
Alrighty, let's meet back in boat pose. Extend here. Now this time we're gonna roll back, roll forward and come into Malasana, wide yogi squat. So <laughs> I can't really roll back. I'm just gonna come forward. This is very rocky and uneven, but oh, so beautiful. So bring your hips down, elbows to your knees, hands to your heart. Try to keep a nice tall spine. You can close down your eyes or find a place to focus. Keep your gaze soft, keep, keep your breathing steady and smooth. Let's continue to build flexibility in the hips, strength in the core and the low back. Really, really important for backpacking here. So again, keep your elbows connected to your knees, lift your hips up to the height of your knees and lower down. Keep your spine neutral, lift and lower. Keep your head in line with your spine, lift and lower. We're gonna do two more. Okay, sink back down, hold here for another full breath. Plant your hands on your mat, step back, high plank pose, lower all the way down to your belly. We're gonna take high cobra pose now, so take the tops of your feet flat to the floor, walk your hands back, press up to straight arms, shoulders down and away from your ears, lift your chin up off of your chest, and then back to downward facing dog. On your next breath in, lift your right leg up. Step forward, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, airplane lunge or airplane. Inhale, standing staff, leg bent or straight. And this time we're gonna take dancer. So take your foot from the inside. So palm faces up. Bring your knees together. Lift your right arm high, kick your foot into your hand. Kick, 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 and reach. And then return to standing staff. And let's take standing pigeon, left ankle over right knee, hands to your heart, sink down. Nice stretch in your left hip as you build strength in your right leg and balance here, using all the muscles in your feet and your leg to hold you here. Rise up, staff. Step back, low lunge. Step back, down dog. If you want a chaturanga, go ahead and take a chaturanga here. Alrighty, let's take those postures on the other side. Lift your left leg up, step forward, low lunge. Crescent lunge, airplane lunge or airplane pose. Balance on your left leg, lift your right leg up off the floor. Standing staff. And dancer, bend your leg, take your foot from the inside. Bring your knees together, lift up and kick. Stretch through the front of your right leg. Build strength and balance in your left leg. Arching your spine, core strength, opening the front of your body. So many things. Standing staff, low lunge, downward dog. Chaturanga if you want. Come down onto your shins. Gonna make our way to camel pose, really active back bend, heart opener. You can have your feet flat or your toes tucked. Take your hands to your low back, lift your chin up off of your chest, press your hips forward, look up, maybe reach back, take hold of your heels. Come all the way back up. 
Set your hips to your heels. We're going to take rabbit pose, which is a counter pose to camel. So take hold of your heels. You're going to round down, chin to chest, shoulders come in, top of the head to the floor, lift your hips up. This is a great way to get a little extra space here between each vertebra. Stretch through your upper back and neck, a really hard place to get to here. So the further forward you press your hips and hold on to your heels, the greater the stretch in your upper back between your shoulder blades. Release your heels or your hips back to your heels. Roll up. All right, and let's take some hamstring stretches here. So extend your right leg forward. Bring your left foot to your right inner thigh. Reach your arms up and then reach your hands toward your right foot. Extend your spine nice and long and then fold over your right leg. Release from your fold and let's take a seated twist. So I'm going to offer up half lotus as an option, otherwise you can take cross-legged. So bring your right foot to your left hip, reach your arms up, twist to the right. Bring your left hand to your right knee, your right hand out behind. Big breath in. And out. Come back to center, extend your left leg long. Right foot to your left inner thigh. Reach your arms up. Fold over your left leg. Deep breaths here. Extending your spine long, getting a nice stretch in the back of your left leg. A great stretch for your low back as well. And release from your fold. Take your left ankle to your right hip. Reach your arms up overhead. And twist to the left. Right hand to left knee, left hand out behind. Breathe in. And out. Come back to center and release. Take your feet flat to the floor. Roll down onto your back. Bring your feet to mat distance apart. Bring your arms to goal post. Start to rock your knees side to side. Really, really great release for your hips and your low back. Next time your knees come to the right, rest them down on the floor. A couple options here. You can stack or stagger your legs. You can take your right foot on top of your left knee if you want for a little more weight deeper twist. You can look up or look to the left. Whatever's comfortable on your neck. Come back to center and place both feet on the floor. Rest your knees to the left. Look to the right or up toward the ceiling. Stack or stagger your legs or take your left foot on top of your right knee. back to center. Loosely draw your knees into your chest and take some circles in one direction, slashing out your low back. Pause, take circles in the other direction. These are all great stretches to do after backpacking or a long day of hiking. Separate your knees and feet for happy baby. Take hold of your toes, feet, or ankles. You can hold steady or you can rock side to side. Continuing to massage out the back, and the spine, lengthen the spine, build flexibility in your inner thighs and your hips. Bring your knees back to center, bring your forehead towards your knees, tight little ball, and then release for Shavasana. Extend your legs long. 
feet fall open, palms face up, fingers relax. Let's collectively take a breath in and pause at the top. Open mouth, exhale. Breathe softly here. No force, no effort. Body, wiggling your fingers and your toes, rolling your wrists and your ankles. Reach your arms up overhead, take a full body stretch. And then roll onto your side, cradle your head in your arm. Take a moment in gratitude for your yoga practice. It helps you build strength for other things that you love in your life, like hiking, backpacking, trekking, Thank your strong body for carrying you through your yoga practice and getting you out in nature. And then press your way up to a seat. And take your hands to your heart. Take a breath in. your thumbs to your third eye. Today as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your heart. From my heart to each and every one of yours, namaste.